Hello everyone and welcome back to Microsoft Dinosaurs. Today, the baddest of the bad. Let's, yeah, sorry about that. Let's get started. Dinosaurs don't scare me. Uh-uh. I'm out to find the nastiest, meanest, worstest, I mean, baddest dinosaurs of all. If you think you're tough enough, you can come along. No screaming aloud. Ah! Sorry. I got scared for a minute. If T-Rex doesn't make your palms sweat, something's wrong with you. After all, it was as long as a school bus and might have run just as fast. And it wouldn't break for kids. Instead, it could have eaten one in a single bite. Its teeth were the size of bananas and could saw right through meat and crack bones. Let's get out of here. Click me now. One moment. Mm-hmm. Yikes! Deinonychus means killer claw, and that's no can opener on its toes. This dinosaur could kick higher than a Las Vegas dancer and slash its prey faster than you can scratch a lottery ticket. And here's worse news. It may have hunted in packs. Don't get near this dinosaur unless you're carrying a big nail clipper. Coelophysis was not much taller than an average sixth grader and pretty lightweight for a dino. So what's so scary about it? its brains. This was one of the smartest dinosaurs, smarter than any of our ancestors from dinosaur days. It was fast, its hands were nimble, and it had a mouthful of sharp teeth. Don't mess with Coelophysis. T-Rex was the biggest killer dinosaur, right? Not necessarily. Spinosaurus could have been bigger and just as nasty. The sail on its back may have helped to keep it cool, but it probably got all steamed up anyway whenever it saw a nice piece of meat, dead or alive. Allosaurus lived among the biggest dinosaurs of all, giant browsers like Brachiosaurus. It might have eaten them, so it could certainly have handled you. Allosaurus may have grown as big as T. rex, nearly 40 feet long, and Allosaurus had longer, more powerful arms than its carnosaur cousin. That's all bad news for anything passing through its neighborhood. Even in the early days of dinosaurs, there were nasty characters, like Herrerasaurus. It had sharp teeth and a double-hinged jaw that could bite off huge chunks of meat. Don't ever invite Herrerasaurus to dinner. It can't tell the guests from the food. All right, this isn't a dinosaur. In fact, Dinosuchus probably ate dinosaurs. It was bigger than T-Rex. And like the crocodile to which it's related, it might have been a fearsome hunter. Today, crocodiles eat more people than any other animal does. If it were alive now, Dinosuchus might be a good reason not to spend time at the beach. No, Brachiosaurus wouldn't have eaten you. But it's one more dinosaur to be careful around. Big sauropods like Brachiosaurus probably weighed more than 50 tons. You wouldn't want to stand close when they walked by, or when they went to the bathroom. Duh, gag me with a fossil. Here's a whole cast of villains who'd belong in prison today. Any of them would have gladly munched you for an hors d'oeuvre and still had room for dinner. But remember, even the fiercest animals miss their targets most of the time so you might have escaped the killer dinosaurs. Besides, nearly all meat eaters get most of their protein from animals that are already dead. When's the last time you saw somebody eating a live cow? There are a lot of other dinosaurs to watch out for, but I can't take much more scaring. If you want to visit more of these monsters by yourself, click the contents button to explore on your own. If you want to join me someplace safer, click me again. And that would be all for today. I'm Brian Quadrigan signing out. Stay straight.